What's up everyone and welcome to this episode of Tech Apprentice. As some of you might know, I have, well recently is a big word, but not so long ago, I have built a mini quad. And I never had flown any RC planes or anything before. When I first got my drone, I actually checked a bit online to see whatever I could find uh, information wise. And I had bought at the time um, the remote control of FlySky FSI 6 and I have actually done a video on how to use that specific uh, remote on the computer with simulators. I wanted to learn on a simulator before because I did not want to break my quadcopter at the time and well I thought it would be easier and it actually was. It was really helpful to use simulator like liftoff or um, any other ones that you could find. Um, but when I first used my FPV goggles when my quadcopter, I found it very difficult to adapt because in the simulator, yes, you have the first person view, but it's not exactly the same because you still see around you and you don't, you're not immersed like with your FPV goggles. Um, so recently I have decided that I would want to use my simulator with my goggles. When I bought my gear, I was on a budget, on a very tight budget actually, because I was leaving for another country. So I did not want to spend like a thousand dollars on FPV goggles, knowing that, not knowing that I was actually going to like it. The goggles I bought are the Fat Track Teleporter V5, and I've done plenty of videos on those. You can see all those videos in the playlist that I will link. The bad thing about the Teleporter V5 is that they only have um, analog input. Uh, compared to the Patriarch Dominator series that have HDMI input. I have to find a way to convert the digital signal from the computer to the analog signal of um, the goggles. While I was browsing on Banggood, I found this little thing over here. It's basically a box that converts the HDMI to RCA inputs. So let's check that out. This is the packaging it came into. It's a very simple packaging actually. It comes with a user manual, but it's not really needed. A USB cable and the product itself. Um, the USB cable is used to um, power up the unit but you can just connect this to your computer and it'll be just fine. And this is a unit, unit itself. It's pretty simple. It has the HDMI in over here and the RCA connections here. You basically just connect, um, connect the HDMI output from your computer to the box, plug in the USB cable select whether you want NTSC or PAL and well connect connect the DRC cable from the box to your goggles that's it it's as simple as this um, the only thing you need is this box this wire an HDMI cable and your goggles for the cable um, there are two options. Either you make one yourself, which is a fun way to do it and to learn a little bit more about how your goggles work. And the second way is to buy a pre-made cable. Um, in the description, I'll put affiliate links uh, to items you can buy from Banggood. One is a pre-made cable and the other links are parts for you to make your own cable. So I'll put the, TRR, the TRRS connector, sorry, um, and I'll put the RCA connectors. The only thing that I, I won't link are, are wires, but this is, you can easily find them locally or on the internet. It's not so hard. So yeah, just look at the pinout on the Fat Shark, um, on the Fat Shark manual and that's it. One thing is that if you use Fat Shark goggles, like the Teleporter V5 that I have here, don't forget to use, I don't know if you can see this, don't forget to switch off this little thing over here. This is basically a switch to turn off your um, 
RF receiver, your FPV receiver. So that's it. If you don't do this, well, <laughs> you won't see the image coming in, which what I this is what I actually did and I was wondering why I didn't see the image. I thought that this thing was broken. But no, it turned out that I just forgot to turn off the receiver. That's it. When you're piloting your drone using your goggles in FPV, it's a lot different than when you're using line of sight. So using the goggles for the simulator, it just prepares you mentally to what it is to actually do FPV with your drone. So that's it. If you liked this video, please hit the subscribe button and like the video because, well, it's going to help me to get known. And uh, if you have any questions, don't hesitate to comment. I answer pretty much all questions. Also, check out my other videos. I have made a, I have what, like 12 or something like that. Don't have much, but I have other ones that are interesting, like a few mods that I made for my goggles reviews, 3D printing and stuff like that. So go check them out. See you on the next one.